You didn't have a good day. No. Come on. I don't want no part of your baloney. What is up, dudes? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing More Outdoors. Brandon, you ready to catch some fish, bud? No. Today, we got myself, hold on. I'm gonna make Brandon really happy really quick. And then he's gonna have a whole different, he's gonna, he's gonna be really happy. After what I just showed you, are you ready to have a good day now? Yeah. <laughs> Did you just flip six to midnight? Six to midnight, six to seven. Okay, dudes, now that I got that out of the way, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing More Outdoors. Today, we got myself and we got Mr. Brendor, Mr. Mr. Brendor Beans. I went to the hospital today. I forgot about that. Early this morning. Why? We broke his neck. Didn't break my neck, I just got severe whiplash. But you can see it in my new vlog. That I just oh, made. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you shouldn't give that away. Brandon got... <laughs> oh, yeah, we might as well now. Brandon got some severe whiplash because of a new video that he just posted uh, a couple hours ago. So, really quick, after this video, go check out Brandon's video. I will leave a link down in my description. And uh, it's super, it's super freaking funny. I think your first one... He's, he's at vlog number two now. I think your, his first one was a, was a little bit more funny. They're both super funny, but yeah, you guys should go check it out. And if you haven't seen his first one too, go check that out and just go subscribe to his channel in general. So without further ado, I think uh, we're at, uh, we're doing the river today. We're on a river and I'm about to hit a bunch of lily pads, but we're on a river uh, and we're gonna be, we're gonna be fishing some smallmouth and largemouth and uh, yeah, I haven't fished this river in a long time, and it's either a hit or miss, so stay tuned. Hopefully, we can crush them. We are at spot number one. Me and Brandon are going to start out punching. We're going to start in some thick stuff just to see where these fish are. We're going to punch. We're going to we're gonna frog. We're going to throw jigs on the outsides of these weeds. Here you go. We're going to do a bunch of stuff, so stay tuned, dudes. Hopefully, we can make something happen. Let it hit the bottom, and then this stuff's so thick, and then... Like most of this stuff too, it's hollow underneath. So just let it hit bottom and yo-yo it. Yo-yo it like two, three times and then reel it in pretty much. Just kind of look for little holes and stuff, you know? Right this point. Holy shit. Oh, I thought my rod broke. Dude. Yeah, so did I. It scared me, it terrified me. What happened? My line broke in my reel. God, I just got pounded so hard. Dang it, dudes. That was like, I was just yo-yoing it and that thing just, ah. All right, I knew I shouldn't have been using fluorocarbon. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some braid on this reel and we're gonna give this another go. I think this could be good. That was like third cast. That was huge. That felt pretty big. Yeah, scared me too. I thought I broke my brand new rod. All right, dudes, really quick. I'll show you guys the program I was just running. I just got these little, little six cents punch stops. Next, I got myself a little half ounce tungsten weight, also by six cents. And then we just got a little black and blue punch skirt. This is the same one I just missed that fish on. Next, dudes, you want a very, very, very heavy wire. Uh, you usually want a punching hook, but today I'm using a offset hook because I don't have any. I don't have any bait keeper punching hooks, so offset's gonna have to work. And that is just a big beefy. You want the beefiest, pretty much the beefiest hook you can find. Dude, a guy could literally fish this all fuck like a guy could fish this for this one mat for freaking days. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh my god, and look at that bait. Gone. 
That is a freaking slunch. Oh, yes. That one took me a little bit. It didn't really feel like nothing. Usually they just pound it. This guy just kind of had it in his mouth. Oh, my God. Yes. That is a freaking good start to the day right there. Nice fish. All right, well, it's Brandon's turn. Hopefully we can get some more like this. Let's uh, let him go back into the slop. Oh my God, dude, that was freaking awesome. There's nothing like a punch and bite. All right, buddy. Bye. Hopefully all these fish are gonna be that size. Because if they are today, it's going to be super fun. All right, dudes, as you just seen, I rigged up Brandon with the same same punching rig I'm using. And I decided to switch up mine also. I decided to put a little bigger plastic on there. And I did also decide to put a little, little bit heavier weight on there. So let's uh, keep doing this. Hopefully get some more brutes like that last one. That is a little guy. He freaking whacked it though. That was sick. Those guys suck. I think they'd hit one. Oh! Oh, big, 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 big! Big. That's a big one. That's a freaking big one. Grab him for me. Grab for me. That's close to five. Yeah, buddy. Here, let's keep the weeds out of the boat. Oh, dude. That is 100% a freaking five pounder. Eh? Yeah. I guess we, we could weigh him. If it ain't five, that's five. Who am I kidding? That's a freaking five pounder. That's a, that's a giant. For Minnesota. That's a freaking beast. Like, all right, where's my scale? I'll put them on there quick. Okay, let's see what we got here. We got, dude, no way, 5.1. I thought that was, oh my God, God, I'm a good catch. Okay, I thought that was a little bit bigger, but I, it's, you know, the, whoa, he's actually pretty freaking fat, but it's a really little, little bodied fish, just super fat. All right, well, let's let this big girl go. Jesus, let her grow. She's mad. Here you go, buddy. Oh, she's so feisty. Yes, dude, that was sick. All right, dude, so we ran into a little bit of a hiccup. My, uh, my battery pack that charges my GoPro died. My GoPro does not have batteries. It, I usually just charge it through a power pack and uh, it died. So we're only gonna have the main camera for the rest of the day. So uh, yeah, hopefully the audio will be decent. And yeah, let's get back to it. Hopefully we can get some more five pounders. Brandon's taking a break. Oh my god, dude, that was another freaking big end, man. Really? <sighs> Sorry, I make weird noises when I'm when I miss fish. Dang though, that was a freaking big one, dudes. Actually, not dudes, Brandon. Holy crap, that was a big fish. Yeah, I didn't see that one. <laughs> Oh my god, bros. How long have we been out here? Five hours. Five hours? A little more. A little more than five hours. What an absolute, right away? Holy, hold on, I got weeds on me. Like right away, the first like two hours of today was freaking awesome. We caught some really high quality fish uh, in some just thick, deep mats. It was so much fun. I absolutely love this kind of fishing just because, like I, like I probably said in today's video, it's just, they hit it so hard just because you're pretty much vertical and your line's pretty tight usually when they hit it. So it's, there's uh, kind of nothing like it. It's fun. You like it? 
It's pretty fun. You got one? Yeah, I got a good one. A good one too, yeah. Good. Really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I had a ton of fun making it. If you guys could, go down here, like this video, go share this video, smash that subscribe button, hit that little bell next to that subscribe button that notifies you whenever I post a video. And uh, yeah, I guess all that's left to say, dudes. I guess start fishing more. We will see you next time.